Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I was thinking I just wanted to do a random makeup look. Honestly, I haven't done anything in so long. I've been so busy and I haven't been able to post anything, but I will be posting again more frequently. So today I thought I would just get on here and do a spontaneous makeup look that's cute. And I'm going to be using some of my newer products that I've recently gotten in the past couple months. Alrighty guys, so today I'm going to be using some products that I've gotten in the past couple months from Ipsy. I wasn't able to obviously do any reviews on them. Alright, I already have washed and moisturized my face. Make sure you wash and moisturize your face before putting on makeup. First thing we are going to do is primer, and the primer that I'm using is Farsali. I've used this before in other videos. This is probably like my favorite primer here. Ugh, got a little cakey around the bottom. Ugh. Alrighty. Put on some of that. Oop! Might have put on a little bit too much. Alright, next thing I like to do, since for some reason I always have pimples popping up and red spots on my face, I like to use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Corrector and it's in green. This I just put around my face. I do this in every single video, really. It's bad. I get like really bad pigmentation whenever I have like pimples and stuff. I just get really red or even if my face is a little dry or just from being in the sun because I'm in Florida. And then this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. I don't know if I was ever able to use this on camera. It is newer. Um, I think you guys haven't seen this one yet. I had to thought, ugh, I had the honor of using it one time and it wasn't bad. I mean, ugh. it wasn't bad, but definitely it has like more of an orangey tone to it. Um, but then I kind of just like fixed it up with all of my powders and everything. It does have good coverage though. So let's give it a try. All right, this I'm just gonna pop all over my face here. All right. Ooh. I'm gonna work this bad boy in. This is what I wanted to find. I feel like this would be better to just kind of work it all in and then we'll blend it up with the the beauty blender. I actually um, received this from Ipsy. This one is Yensa and it's just a regular foundation brush. But it definitely helps and it's quicker to just place the foundation all over your face with a brush and then make sure everything of course is blended i think i want just a little bit more on my neck before i started doing this i was watching harry potter i love harry potter i'm super obsessed i don't know how many times i've watched all the movies already <laughs> but it's a pretty pretty bad obsession and i'm probably gonna watch the last movie after this <laughs> whenever i'm like just sitting around i'm like yeah i don't know what i want to do let's just watch harry potter it's always a good option you know you're obsessed with Harry Potter when it's your birthday and literally all your gifts consisted of something with Harry Potter. I even got Harry Potter makeup. I did not even know there was Harry Potter makeup. I knew there was eyeshadows, which I still haven't gotten yet. Don't ask me why I've not gotten them. There's different eyeshadows depending on whatever house you want and like the colors of that house. So Gryffindor, more of those like, you know, goldish, reddish colors. These are also some other things I got for my birthday, just like cool stuff like this. Like I didn't even know there's an actual Harry Potter um, lip gloss. It's a lip mask, overnight illuminating lip mask. And then I also got stuff like this, like just Harry Potter and it's body lotion, body butter. Yeah, and I have no idea you can find this on Ulta. I don't know why I've never seen it there before, but let me tell you, We'll be going there soon again, all that good stuff. Alrighty, next I'm gonna just put on some, of course, Tarte Shape Tape. We gonna put that on under here, under here, and then up through here. Ooh, that was a little, a little thick. All right. 
And then this usually I don't like to fully, fully, fully blend in until I'm done with like my eyeshadow and stuff. This usually sits, which really helps. Honestly, I feel like it helps more. I feel like it it goes better, I guess, like lasts longer on my skin. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it really helps considering I also have super dark circles. Now I'm just gonna use some of it, put it on the top of my lid. All right, so for the brows today, we're gonna be doing brow contour. <laughs> Brow Contour Pro by Benefit. So this one, you have all different notches here, I guess you call them, that you can click down. And there's different shades, like a lighter shade, darker shade. We have the definer and then the highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna do it off camera and then I'll be back with my eyebrows did and then we're gonna go into the eyeshadow bowl. Alrighty, and I am back. My eyebrows are done. And I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette today. It is new. I just got this one. This came from Ipsy. It is the Balm and the Beautiful, obviously, from the Balm Cosmetics. Oh, here are the colors in the back. Um, very neutral colors. So since I figured I haven't used this yet, I'm going to use it. It's nothing crazy. A lot of neutral colors in here. So I guess we're going to go for a more subtle, neutral kind of look today. So because we are doing something very neutrally. I will try my best to make it look as bam spectacular as possible. I think I want to just put a teensy beansy weensy bit more of this good stuff on my eye and then we can go from there. This is actually a lot. I was not expecting this much. If you do not have this concealer, I highly suggest it need to get yourself some shave tape may not be for everyone but if you haven't tried it yet definitely give it a try just to see if it could be for you because it could possibly be your new favorite concealer all right so I'm feeling I want to do like a darker one it's called green screen right here I like this this is cute this is like um very Hollywood like I guess because it has like you know the little director's cut green screen roll credits red carpet chick flick autograph makeup artist cliffhanger these are all of the names of the eyeshadow colors and I'm gonna go in with this one I'm going to be using one of my Farrah brushes um, and it is a blending brush and well here goes nothing Let's see how this looks. Ooh. Ooh. Loving this color. It kind of matches my hair. I'm really liking it. it. Looks good. So make sure when you're trying to give yourself a nice little smoky look out here, Make sure you are blending very, very well. And as always, never use too much eyeshadow if you know you have a very pigmented type. Um, but never take too much at first. You want to just keep layering it on until you find it is perfect for you. That way you don't put too much on and have to wipe stuff off because that's never fun. I really like it. I love that subtle look. I'm going to put a little bit more on it just to darken it up a tad and just kind of pat it into those corners and up here some. And then we will go from there with a lighter color on the lid. Maybe I can give this some sparkles, give this like a glammy look. Next on the lid, I'm going to be using this Sultry Smudge um, brush here. All right, I think I'm gonna put Chick, chick Flick kind of down right here, almost like a base. It's very, very nude. Almost looks like a type of concealer, but I totally cleaned up that crease right there. And made it look really good. So I actually, this is the one I use, Chick Flick. So it's the lighter one. 
almost looks like you're putting on like a type of powdered concealer and using another fair brush um fly wings I don't know Using another one of my fair brushes, now I'm going to go in. I want to kind of give, I don't know what I want to do. Uh, maybe the roll credits or maybe autograph. Autograph looks like it'd be so cute. I'm going to go with autograph. I'm going to go with autograph. It's like this goldish kind of sparkly looking one. We're going to go, ah, ah. I'm going to give this one a go. I just want to see what it looks like. Ooh. Yeah, I'm totally feeling it. Yep. This will be the one. Maybe I'll use like this pinkish one. Cut with it a little bit. I like mixing colors and doing different stuff. You never know what you're going to get. All right. And then just going in again on the outside here with my green screen yeah, here we go I really really love that that's cute and then I want to give it a little bit more underneath my eye right here I'm just putting that little bit underneath and then again just go really quickly over again the top lid all right I think I like it I'm gonna do my eyeliner and mascara so Give me a sec while I go get that. So I have been loving this Tint Phantom liner. It's liquid liner. There's a bunch of black liner all over it. Don't pay attention to that. Liquid liner is always very intimidating. Can be a little scary, I might just add. So just try to be very careful whenever you do eyeliner. It is... Not the easiest of tasks, I might say. The thing I like about the liquid liner is that it's so thin, the brush, especially this one, I'm like obsessed with this. Um, it's just nice and thin, the brush. You can really get like little corners in your eyes, which is so much better. You don't have to have like such a thick line of eyeliner. It's very small. We're really using this just to kind of bring out the eyeshadow a bit more. And also when we do put on falsies, it is always good to have a little bit of eyeliner on with falsies so you can't really tell too much. It blends in with the, with the black. There you go. You just got to be very careful. Just be very careful. It takes practice. Always use a little compact mirror, something you can put underneath so you're looking down into the mirror. And this way it gives you a much better angle to see what you're looking at. I'm just smudging out a little bit of the eyeliner towards the back here. I actually kind of like it like that. I think it looks really nice. All right, let's get this mascara going and then falsies. All right, this makes my eyelashes nice and long. Get your favorite nail glue out. I just said nail glue. Oh gosh, get your favorite. I lash glue out and get started. I am using these Ardell Remy lashes today. <clears throat> All right, we're just gonna put a little bit of that glue on it. Yep. All right. So, been organizing my room a lot. 
don't really have the space in here that I would like, but I have been utilizing the space very, very well. So I actually got myself some cool shelves. I put my books on there and stuff. And yeah, it's just, I've been really in this crazy organization mood. I've been buying so much crap off Amazon, but you know what? It's all super useful. And I really love how my room is looking right now. It's definitely coming along the way I want it to. And also, I have made myself a dream board and it is awesome. And I actually want to show you guys. So after I'm done putting this eyelash on, I kind of want to show everyone what my dream board looks like. And I highly encourage everyone to make a dream board. I think they're awesome. I think they're wonderful. Um, you know, while you're putting your dream board together, you're putting in all of that wonderful energy going into your board. You're really, really manifesting a lot of great stuff to you when you do that. I don't think anyone realizes when you're going to actually like, you know, print out all those pictures and put so much work into seeing your dream board come to life. You've put that energy forth to like get closer to that goal I feel whatever goals you have on your dream board so it definitely was fun it was a good experience getting to do it it took a little bit of time but it was worth it so I will get that out and this eyelash right here don't want to stick today Arrgh. here no all right, here goes nothing. Still a little wet. All right, there we go. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of some, uh, uh, some of this under my eye just to give it a nice little touch up. I feel like this is like a really, really cute look. You can really wear this whenever. I think I wanna put like a little bit of some shimmer out of this Hello Beautiful Chella palette that I have here. Some of this like shimmery kind of color. And I'm just gonna put that right here and a little under the eye. And this is just, Highlighting that inner eye a little bit. All right. So that is my eye look here. I will do the other eye off camera. Um, don't want to make this video super, super long, killing all y'all. All right. I'm going to go do this eye and I'll be back. So. Got my eyes done. Real quickly, I just want to show everyone my dream board. Yeah, it's pr pretty freaking huge. Um, but I have like this whole entire <laughs> travel section here. I printed out way too many pictures. I think I printed out like 50 some pictures and I thought it was going to all fit this on a regular board. It didn't happen. So yeah, I did this. I got like little stuff, scrapbooking stuff from Michael's. So that's where all these cute little like 3D stickers are from. And this is all like my travel stuff, all the places I want to travel. And then when you open it, oh good lord, <laughs> over on this side here you have like all of hobby, like fun things that I like to do that I want to do all the time more often. Diving, photography in the water, camping, hiking. Um, this is just pretty much everything I want. Um, as you can see here, total crazy Harry Potter fan wants to have a Gryffindor common room in her house. Yeah, that's, that's me. Ooh! Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. My house, I'm gonna have a monkey, I wanna have a whole freaking farm. This is why I have a huge lot. And this is like, pretty much just everything in here that I want and then like how I'm going to reach all that stuff. So like business success wise, like the things that are gonna make me the money to do all those things. That was a lot. But yeah, so super exciting. I love it. It's 
so cute. I love how it came out. I think the scrapbooking stickers definitely gave it a nice little touch. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to use Tarte. It is Shape Tape Setting Powder. Um, this is brand new. I have not used it yet. Look how nice that is. It has a cute little mirror on it. And then if you don't need the mirror, just open it up like this. I like that a lot. And you can still use this as a mirror. Yeah, haha, <laughs> I like it. It's very nice, has this cute little string on it, have a nice hold. Just gonna go, bop. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh yes, honey. I'm getting all them spots, getting all them spots. It has a very nice netting, so it really like doesn't spill out, like nothing spills easily with this. And I like that because I have one that is just straight powder. There's like no net and it's always a mess every time I use it. This is very nice. This is very, very nice. So I like to do this underneath my eyes first. Kind of set in all of that concealer and foundation all in here. Oh, this is so soft on my face. I love it. Got your nose. How to your nose. All right. Now I'm going to go in with some Morphe Enemy Bronzer. Let me get um, a brush for myself. What brush do I want? We'll get this nice one here. All right. All right, some very pigmented bronzer here, so you gotta be a little careful with this. And as always, get onto that neck. Just darkens this area up. And just gonna take it and Put it around where I contoured. Oh, look at that. I just love how powders make your face look. They're the best. So, I don't know what the heck happened, but uh, my camera just stopped recording out of nowhere. So, where I was at, I was literally putting this on my face. I got this as a free gift from Sephora. It's Milk Makeup, and it is a blush actually that you just kind of smear onto the face here just smear it on a little bit take a nice little brush a good one that you can like kind of smudge that all in it's like a real nice thick one here and I just take it and smudge it all around give myself that nice color oh and it, you know what this smells really good too the blush. It has a really nice smell to it. Very fruity kind of smell. And I'm going to be using today Anastasia Glow Kit, just a regular Anastasia Glow Kit. Nice and sample. I get that nice white marshmallow color in here. It's the lightest one. And just go over right up here always love it right here on the nose a little up here um my lips and put a little bit up here put a little bit up here right and we are going to use color pops lippy pencil and it's in bff it's a very what just happened I was about to say, I just sharpened it and the whole thing, I guess, somehow, like what? Okay. Here we are. I'm going to be using a nude lipstick. So I figured, 
A nude lippy would go perfect. So for lipstick today, um, oh, I forgot what this brand was. Jo something. Jovia's, Jovia's Place. Something like that. Um, I'll put it in the description. And it's in Chic. And this is a really, really good lipstick. It's very pretty. So... We're just gonna put this bad boy on and we'll be complete. Mm, look at it. Oh my gosh. Like, what? Dude. Mm -mm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's very nice. It's like very moisturizing, but then it turns to like matte, which I like. Just another quick bit of highlight all right and there you have it i'm gonna put in some finishing spray now but i really like how this came out i like it's nude matching my hair a little bit all right i think that's good enough all right it's not like i'm going anywhere or anything Alrighty guys, so I hope you all really enjoyed my quick spontaneous makeup look that I just decided to do. I like it a lot. Um, and before we go, I am going to do my affirmations. Got my mindful messages. So here we are. Give them a nice good shuffle. I will be getting into more of the spiritual side of this channel very soon. You know, I was still very new into this even a few months ago. You know, it's still very new to me and I'm learning a lot and I honestly just feel so different now. I feel like I've really connected with myself. Ooh, one just flew out. Ooh, this one's called magic. I feel like this is like whenever a card falls out, I feel like you just have to, that's the card. Like that's the one. And I was just watching Harry Potter, so. All right, magic. There's magic and miracles all around you. Where others see coincidence, you see evidence of life's synchronicities. You love filling life with wonder and magic. It's way more fun that way. Um, I pretty much just see, like, for this one, just, like, take those random things that happen to you as just, like, a sign and keep, like, moving in that good direction on that good path, like... Definitely magic and miracles are all around all of us. We just have to tap into that. Where others may see coincidence, you see evidence of life synchronicities. Like things just happen because they're meant to happen that way. Also down at the bottom where it says about filling life with wonder and magic, it's way more fun that way. Just never forget to just have fun and just let loose, let go, enjoy yourself, enjoy your life. No one's promised tomorrow. So just keep making good decisions and good choices out there, people. You know, don't don't fall down the the wrong path of the non-magical and mysterious side. Alrighty y'all, and that is it for today. Um, hopefully soon I will be doing my meditative video that I really want to do, um, helping others to meditate and show you just how I do it. So that is something I want to do. And I also want to do other types of videos still that I don't, I don't know yet exactly <laughs> what they're going to be. Um, but I want to, I want to make this a little bit more well-rounded of a channel. Alrighty guys, you have a wonderful, wonderful blessed day and I'll be seeing you all next time. Bye.